here today for Eurogamer, the premier gaming expo in England. Uh, it's pretty cold, I'm going to go inside and play some games. Dante's Inferno, which is somehow at least they based on the right comedy. I'm not sure that's going to work, but it looks pretty impressive. I'll look forward to playing that later. Let's uh, start it up. So uh, here we've got the eagerly awaited Leopard 2, which uh, I'm sure a lot of us are waiting to get our lands on the flight hands on. You can see the uh, frying pan as the new melee weapon, which everybody's going crazy about. Photo. Bounces, so I was alright. <laughs> but I feel right at home. Yeah, definitely. Absolutely love it. Absolutely love the new Mario Wii as well. Mario or Master Chief? Oh, uh, well, Mario is star power, Master Chief, sticky grenade. Mario. Yeah. It's, 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 it's a champion. It's <laughs> a legend. He has made gaming what it is. Check out. back in Eurogamer. It's pretty busy. There's quite a lot going on. We've got Bayonetta, which looks very impressive. And we've got FIFA 10, which also looks impressive, if you like football. Um, even though it's really busy, luckily earlier, we got a chance to speak to Johnny Minkley, who is the uh, editor of Eurogamer.tv. What is the game you're most looking forward to playing, or have played? Ooh, well, this is a problem working at these sort of things. You don't get a lot of time to actually um, sit down with a joypad yourself, but I think I really do want to find some time to have a go on God of War 3. Um, it's looking great. I like action games. Very excited about that. I mean, I've already played uh, Dante's Inferno, which uh, is quite a clone of God of War, but looks pretty flash. But um, I think, and again, I was going down the queue first thing this morning. Um, people started queuing at 8:30 this morning. Um, very, very keen. You know, excited to get their hands on games. But uh, I mean, the, the game that came up the most in the queue this morning was uh, God of War. Mm. Dante's Inferno is actually based on the Divine Comedy written by Dante Algahiri, but it hasn't actually got much to do with the poem itself. Well, what's, what's your opinion on that? I think, well, I think it does. I mean, it's, it's mm. used it as a source, very yeah. much so. And, you know, when you play through the game, you have a narrator reading out actual lines of it. They have 
twisted it slightly yeah. to make him more of a kind of uh, yeah, muscly more accessible. A action hero. Yeah. I mean, look, this happens a lot in, in other media, in sort of TV and film. There'll be people mm. that, that can't bear to see fictionalised work. Mm. Uh, I just think it's a strange mix yeah. of like a sort of an early century sort of poet. Sort of made into a video game, but uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm very eager to look at it. Planet. Well, that's the thing. I think I think I suppose thematically atmospheric. I mean, the, the whole concept, Dante's concept of hell, mm. was dying to be turned into a video game. If you think about it, I mean, mm. so it has ready-made baddies and bosses yeah, and beasts yeah. and, and, and the circles of hell. So in theory, and he, and he mapped it out in great detail. Mm. The way he described yeah. hell. Um, so in terms of giving them an environment to work mm. with, uh, I can see why they wanted to work yeah. with it. Yeah. That's what are you, what are you looking argument. forward to playing? Assassin's Creed 2. Okay. It's, yeah, I, I'm very eager to try out the uh, dual, dual assassinations and killing people on Ace Dance. So were you a fan of the first one? Uh, I actually completed it last week. I've recently bought an Xbox and I was very happy with it. Good yeah, stuff. I, I liked it, yeah. Well, I think they've made, made improvements in key mm. kind of areas. Yeah. yeah, before it was a little bit repetitive, but uh, yeah. very enjoyable all the same. Excellent. Yeah, okay. I think we're finished, but thank you very much. Great stuff. Time. Thanks for having me. Yeah, thank Cheers. you very much. Enjoy the rest of the Expo. Thank you very much. Thanks. Thanks. Bye-bye. Thank you. Cool. That's it today from your gamer. I'm pretty exhausted. Had a lot of fun today. It's been pretty good. I've really enjoyed uh, the Avatar game. That was very impressive. I also liked Uncharted, which I mentioned. And uh, playing some ODST badly whilst everybody could see me. But uh, yeah, I'm exhausted. I think I said that. Let's go home. We'll come back tomorrow. We'll be prepped up. Yeah. <laughs>